Okay, guys, this is my Bound for Glory review. I know I didn't do a prediction show. I didn't even do a live reaction to TNA, main event review, or a SmackDown review. So, I promise you, I have only been saying this week, that this week I'll get my part. I'll, I'll just dedicate the week to YouTube. I have a video out that's coming out later on the one I'm talking later, but this is Wrestling Fortune 44. Let's get to Bound for Glory. And since I still got that strike, I'm going to make this review as quick as I can. I'm going to tell you this right now, that this show didn't feel like Bound for Glory, kind of like WrestleMania this year, but WrestleMania did have, did kind of deliver. This one was just kind of just felt like a typical pay-per-view. Um, and there were some matches that I thought were going to steal the show that didn't really steal the show. Like, I don't know, but... Um, and that, and the stream I watched it on had, like, no sound on it, so that didn't help, but... I'll talk, I'll talk about the pre-show. We get Taz and Mike and today on commentary for that. They do. Dixie Carter makes the world title match. No countouts or no disqualifications. Um, it shows some wrestlers in the bound for glory. AJ Styles, Gail Kim. I think it showed... Uh, I don't even know who else it showed. But. And then we got the tag teams backstage. We're going to find out who the third entrance is because it's like a tag team gauntlet match. It's a tag team gauntlet match, which is a tag team turmoil match. And we found out it's either it's going to be Bad Influence, Christopher Daniels, and Kazarian, Chava Guerrero, and Hernandez, or Eric Young and Joseph Park. We know it wasn't um, the Bromance, which is um, Robbie E. and Jesse Gowders, because uh, they, ended, they ended up entering last. But it ends up being Eric Young and Joseph Park. Uh, and the Bromance are backstage. We get the big, well, we get the big blow. Um, Oh, and I also saw the Ethan Carter the third video package. We get the big bro, I guess he's like a big Jack Black guy now, and he's going to be the newest member of the, the Bromance now. Uh, Ultimate X video, Jeff Hardy video package. He talks about what's going to the Ultimate X is going to be be like. So, And Bad Influence gets interviewed saying that uh, they're getting robbed. The, they, they should be in the tag team division, but they're not. It shows Kurt Angle getting inducted into the Hall of Fame. That was cool. Everyone says nice things about him. The Venom Mafia are backstage, and they're, they're talking about how they're going to take care of business. Then we get the tag team tournament, well, the tag team gauntlet match. Bad influence, Christopher Daniels and Kazarian versus for Chama Guerrero and Ed Hernandez versus Joseph Park and Eric Young versus the Bromance. One has become number one contenders for the World Tag Team Championship at uh, the, the actual show. Uh, it was all right. Um, Chavo Hernandez, of course, started the match, and... Uh, well, yeah, Chavo Hernandez, a bad influence, started the match. They didn't have a bad match. Uh, I think it was uh, Kazarian pushed uh, Chavo off the top rope, and uh, he went with his first into the into the ropes, and then uh, Chavo Guerrero and then Christopher Daniels rolled him up and got the and, and got the win, and then Eric Young and Joseph Park came out, um, and they they get the win when uh, Joseph Park gets the Samoan drop on Christopher Daniels. That bad influence just beat the sh beats the shit out of him later so bad that um, Joseph Park has to be taken backstage. And then um, Eric, the Bromance came out and Eric Young does his best he can to try to fight him off, but he fails. And then they win at, off the heart attack and become number one contenders. Uh, Bully Ray's backstage talking about the uh, going to the win. Eric Young's backstage and he's looking for Joseph Park and, he's, and then he finds him and he's like, oh no. Uh, AJ Styles and Bully Ray build up. Bully Ray promo. He just says that he's gonna that aces and eights. You think aces and eights are getting weakened, but aces and eights is just as strong as ever. Um, and he also says that uh, he's gonna uh, become the new, and that he still will be world heavyweight champion. And Bully Ray and Dixie Carter talk backstage. He says, "Please tell me you're gonna take out uh, Dixie AJ Styles." Manic defends the X Division Championship against Jeff Hardy, Austin Aries, Chris Sabin, and I forgot to write some old Joe in there, but he was in there. Uh, they had some good spots. This match didn't, like, didn't steal the show as much as I thought it would, but it was alright. Austin Aries flies into Manic, Jeff Hardy flies into Joe. No, Joe flies into Hardy, uh, Manic flies into Joe. And then, um, yeah, um, and then, uh, uh, Jeff Hardy brings in a ladder to to, to, to it ends up costing him kind of later, um, and they do some more spots, um, and then uh, Chris Saban actually ends up getting the win when he's punching Hardy and he grabs the belt and actually runs away with it. Like that actually was pretty cool. So I like the 
And actually, I wasn't expecting him to win. I actually had picked uh, Austin Aries or uh, Manic to win. Um, and I also, for the tag title match, I picked Bad Influence, so I got that one. Then they, throughout the night, it shows AJ Styles' accomplishments. It shows him win the X Division title on June 19, 2002. Um, him winning the world title at No Surrender 2009. And um, he, bec he becomes the world champ. And he becomes the. When he was. Him versus Kurt Angle versus Matt Morgan versus uh, Stan versus uh, Hernandez. Because he had like kind of like the money in the bank. It showed uh, him beating Stan at Bound for Glory. 2009, it showed. There's one other thing it showed. What else did it show? I think it showed. And it also. Oh, and it showed. Yeah, it also showed him um, when beats. when the Bound for Glory series. So that was, that was good stuff that they showed. And then. Um, Bad influence come out and they talk about and that they got logged that they shouldn't need, that they should be the number one added to the tag title match because they beat two tag former tag team champions and uh, they beat they lost to a team that wasn't a real tag team so it shouldn't count. Eric Young comes out and tells them that they better run. I mean they don't run away they just attack when then Abyss comes out uh, hits a black hole slammer because they're in a choke slam just because um, just Christopher Daniels. And we're probably never going to see Abyss again, so. Uh, and then it shows AJ Styles live again. We get the Brom And James Storm and Gunner talk about, just kind of talk bad about the, uh, the Bromance. Um, then we get the Bromance with Mr. Olympia versus Gunner and James Storm for the tag belts. John Gunner, Gunner and James Storm being the champions. It was all right. Actually, it started to pick up towards the end, uh, but the Bromance ended up getting the win with the heart attack, and they uh, actually are the new tag team champions. I actually did pick them to win because James Storm and Gunner were doing shit with the championships, and I think maybe that if they if them going for the chase for the championships will be something different. Um, and then it shows Kurt Angle getting inducted to the Hall of Fame again. Kurt Angle is going to get inducted into the Hall of Fame, and I was wondering why didn't they do this for Stin last year, but then um, I understand why Stin asked him to join him in the Hall of Fame. Kurt Angle talks about his accomplishments, but then he declines the Hall of Fame offer because he doesn't feel like he lived up to wrestling's um, standards, and he wants to train hard and you know, wants to do it when he truly rightfully deserves it. Um, Dixie Carter's backstage. I don't remember what she did. ODB defends the Knockouts Championship against Gail Kim and Brooke. At first, it was just a one-on-one -on -one match between Brooke and uh, ODB, but then Gail Kim started to get into it, and I was wondering why Gail Kim was in the match, and I and then at the end, I understand why. Lady Topper ended up coming out and attacked ODB with the boot, and then Powerbomb missed um, Brooke in, in the win, and then Gail Kim pinned her for the win, and then um, Lady Topper ended up being aligned with Gail Kim, so that's why I think she was in the match. So I like the fact that Lady Top on Gail Kim out of line. The Bromance are celebrated backstage, and then Bobby Roode talks about how Kurt he's in Kurt Angle's head, and that that's why he's not getting into the Hall of Fame. We got Roode versus Kurt Angle. Pretty good submission match. They did a lot of submissions, like the crossface and the uh, ankle lock. And Angle hit the ankle slam. Roode kicks out. And Roode hit like a um like a fireman's carry into like a neck breaker move. That was cool. But then Kurt Angle ends up hitting the angle slam off the top rope, and then he knocks himself out, and Bobby Roode just wins. So that was, I thought that was kind of weird. Then Kurt Angle refuses to be assisted to the back. I actually picked Kurt Angle to win that match. Um, and then we get um, AJ Styles backstage, Bully Way backstage. He's, he's telling the Aces and Aces to stay with him. And then we get Ethan Carter the, the third versus Norvin, Norv Fordham. It was a squash match. Ethan Carter... Uh, North Fordham got two drop kicks and a cross body in. Other than that, um, he does like he hits like the bulldog power driver move that Dean Ambrose does. So that's how he won. Um, then we get the Magnus interview. He says that he has everything to lose, but not everything to gain. Then we get Magnus versus Stin. It was fine. It was funny. Magnus was doing Stin's moves, so that means he obviously had faith in him. Hits an elbow. He doesn't get him. Stin does all his moves. Gets him in the scorpion death lock a bunch of times. Um, then Magnus ends up getting him into the 
Cloverleaf, which I think it was the Scorpion Deathlock, and then actually Magnus hit the stim, to, hit stim with the Scorpion Deathlock too. But yeah, Magnus ended up getting the submission win, and then he doesn't shake. Well, he shakes his hand, but I guess he got he was a little like he got a little carried away afterwards, over celebrated, and that's understandable. I think maybe they'll turn Magnus heel, and maybe have like or maybe just have Magnus rub it in his face that he beats Stim, and Stim will challenge him to a rematch or something. Uh, Bully Ray interview, he talks about how he can make AJ Styles live through the fact that he lost to him. They give a Bully Ray defending the world title against AJ Styles with Brooke Test Marker. No to the queue, no count out match. It was all right. It was, it, it, it was a little slow in the beginning. AJ Styles, AJ said Knox and Gary ended up getting involved, which I don't understand why they did. Because he asked, um, Mike Knox and Garrett said they want the next time the bully way needs to help. You're not gonna help. They're not gonna help him, and they just helped him. So I don't get what the hell out it was uh, going there. But AJ Styles ended up going through the table. Bully way cuts the win off. Um, he ends. Bully way hits a back body drop on it. Hits him with a chair. AJ Styles does like a springboard splash, but uh, Nixie Carter won't let the referee make the pinfall. AJ Styles ends up then uh, hitting Bully way with a chair. And doing that little splat, the way the kind of like um, I figure his, I guess it's like his new finisher, but it's like he goes off the top rope and kind of like the Swan Tom bomb, the way he won the Bound for Glory series, and gets the win and becomes the new champion, which we all knew was gonna happen. Um, I was fine with that. I'm glad that he's champion again. He hasn't held it since 2010, so he deserves to at least hold a championship. But that was Bound for Glory. Uh, it was all right. Um, definitely not biggest pay worth buying. Really not worth streaming because the stream fucking failed on me. But yeah, that's pretty much uh, it. Um, now I'm gonna go. I'm gonna be uploading this, and then I'll be back on the owner talking to decide to give another video. So see you later.